Leaker diaper. Leaker diaper. Not our favorite name, but an excellent question. He has a question. <laughs> he writes in, why does faxing still seem to be the number one method of sending paperwork? In the past few weeks, I found myself needing to send many faxes to such places as banks and doctor's offices. It's been a hoot driving to the nearest postal shop with a fax machine and then pay to send one, but only to find that the other end never received it. If it is received, how long does my personal information sit on top of this machine for everyone to see? Why does this dino of technology still reign? I can't see the point in buying a fax machine when I have a perfectly good scanner, printer, PC, and high-speed connection. What free software, if any, will allow me to use what I have and put this monster to rest? Leaky diaper in Arizona. That is a terrible name. Come on. <laughs> Unless you you know have a toddler who's well tearing up diapers. Well, first of all, the, the reason fax won't die is because it's an accepted standard. It is basically considered admissible as as you know your signature on a fax sent through is basically going to stand up in court. It's a direct connection between machine A and machine B on a private line. Yes. I know it was, you can do them over the internet now, but effectively, it's just it's it's useful, it's secure, it's safe, it's understood. Everybody has access to one, even if they do have to drive down to the Kinkos at two a.m. Yeah. To use it. Plus, for the, you know, it, it kind of goes without saying that it is. If you're doing a lot of that paper shuffling throughout the day and sending papers back and forth and signing them and sending them, that is easier to do than having to print them out, sign right. them, scan them, upload them to your computer, right. and then email them. Although we know some of you have PDF things where you can basically cut and paste your signature in, but the reality I'm is, I'm going to do that. Yeah. I I, I really need to find a good way of doing that. I think I'm just going <laughs> to take a big picture of it and shrink it down in, in Pixelmator and do it that way. But um, we couldn't find you any free software. Well, there's, there's a couple free websites that are a little sketchy. Oh, um, I couldn't find any free websites. There's a couple of, uh, the, the, let me rephrase that. I found a couple free websites. I wouldn't use them myself, so I'm certainly not going to recommend that you use them. If you have Windows, you, there's still the fax software is still built in, even to Windows 7, but you need yeah. a, a fax modem. You need a modem still need, yeah. built into your machine and okay. a landline. To but you can do that. Um, but the top faxing online services, according to Consumer Reports, are Nextiva, Ring Central Fax, mm -hmm. Metro Fax, MyFax, and eFax, which Roger apparently has used in the past with great success. <laughs> um, they all have monthly or yearly fees, with the least expensive being Nextiva at about $6.95 a month if you get the yearly plan. Usually they work by sending an email with the document that you want to fax as an attachment and then huh. sending it to a personalized email address with the number of the fax recipient and then a like an at efax.com address at the end so it goes to their servers. I wonder, yeah, because I know it's like a lot of cases when you fax something and it doesn't sit on the fax machine waiting for everybody to copy your information down it actually goes into a computerized system that routes it to somebody's inbox. But you always wonder like if email is involved in sending a fax, mm -hmm. is, it still, is, it, is it encrypted? Is it still as secure? I don't, you know, I'm not sure. But what, one thing that is cool is that anything you write in the body of uh -huh. the email address becomes a cover letter. Oh, funny. So you can say, like, <laughs> attention, Bob, re your brains. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Um, but you can also receive faxes that way through email. Otherwise, it's probably cheaper just to run to that Kinko's. Um, if any of you know of a free service that sends and receives faxes as, a, as an application or mm -hmm. as an online web service kind of thing, let us know at techsell at revision3.com. Oh.